Welcome to a four-part series over Zotero. Zotero is a free tool that helps you collect, organize, cite, and share research sources. This is the second part of the series. I will demonstrate how to use Zotero to collect research from a web browser. I will also cover how to organize and annotate your research and sync the client with your online library. First, let's log into your online Zotero account. You must be logged into Zotero Connector to capture research material in your web browser. You can log into the online library from the Zotero web page. Click Login and sign in with your username and password. Let's continue with a demonstration of how to collect an article from a library database. For this example, I'll be using Academic Search Premier. I'll do a keyword search and bring up an article record with an attached PDF and click on the title. Once you're on the record page, click the Zotero icon in your browser to capture the research source. All of the bibliographical data on this page, as well as the article, has been saved to my online library. If I have my Zotero client synced with my online library, my research will show up there as well. Let's capture a different citation from a web page. I'll go to a news website and click on a news article, and press the Zotero button in my browser. Just like in the database, Zotero will capture citation information and save it to my online library. We will first look at the online library before we look at the client library. Remember, this tutorial will show you how to sync the two so that items save in both locations. Go to the Zotero webpage and click on My Library. This online library is available from any computer you may log into. This is distinct from the client which will only be available on a computer that you have installed the client on. The record for any article, blog, book, or web page you save through the connector widget will be displayed in a list on this page. Let's take a look at the record for the clown in pediatrics article. As you can see, bibliographical information from the database has been automatically captured and placed here. There is also a link to the record in the database, and in instances where there was a PDF of the article, it will also be available at the bottom of the record. You may edit the record by clicking on the Edit button. This is also how you add notes and annotations to a record. To add a note, Click Add Note, type your note, and click Save. You can create collection folders to organize your research by clicking on the Create Collection button. Name your collection. And if you would prefer to nest this under another previously created folder, you may select a parent collection. Click Create. Let's take a break from the online library and open up the Zotero client, which should be installed on your computer. If you have already synced your online library with your locally installed client, your folders and research sources will be available. If you've had the client open this whole time, your research will by default save to the client first, not the online library. To sync your collections, go to Edit, Preferences, Sync. Enter your login information for Zotero on this page. It is recommended that you allow Zotero to sync automatically. Click Set Up Syncing, 
and click OK. Now click SyncWithZotero.org. You can add collection folders in the client by pressing the New Collection button. Give your collection folder a name and click OK. You can also add large group folders with the New Group button. This is handy if you have several different research projects and would like them in different groups. To add a note in the client, click on an article and then click on the Notes tab. Type in your note after clicking Add. And anything that you type in will be automatically saved. You may also add searchable tags to your citations. Click on Tags and then click Add. Type in your tag and press Enter. Tags are searchable in the search box here. You can also use the client to add PDFs to your collection and automatically generate citation records from that PDF. This is a handy way to organize articles from interlibrary loan that may be stored locally on your computer. To add a PDF, click New Item and click Store Copy of File. Find your local file, select it, and open it. The PDF should appear in your library list. Right-click on the PDF and click Retrieve Metadata from PDF. Click Close. If the PDF had any bibliographical data in it, like a journal article might, the record will be created. If the PDF feature isn't working, you may need an update. You may download the update by clicking Edit, Preferences, Search, and click the Check for Updates button. For additional information, you may look up more under the documentation link on the Zotero website or contact your local librarian with questions. Join me for part three as I demonstrate how Zotero can be used to collaborate with others.